Hi, Seth Shostak here at the SETI Institute. As you can see, we have these signs on all our desks just so, you know, I don't take it out of the building and try and get it home and put it on eBay. Anyhow, I want to tell you about this week's show on Big Picture Science, which is about the revision of some of the units that you use every day. I mean, you get a pound of ground round. Well, how do you know it's really a pound? Uh, you, you count on the, the state and the store to sort of calibrate their scales. But there's a definition of mass, and it's in Paris under a whole bunch of bell jars called the Big K. Now, the Big K, you may think that that's a defensive linebacker or something, but the Big K is actually a piece of metal, an alloy, that sits in Paris and defines the kilogram. It's been used since the 19th century to define what a kilogram is, and from that you define all the other stuff, like milligrams and all that. Okay? Now, it, you know, every time somebody opens up that bell jar to measure this thing so that they can, you know, make other copies of it, of course it changes, you know, uh, a little, there's a little bit of dust that settles on it, you know, changes this by parts in a million. You might say that doesn't matter, but it does matter. Okay, it turns out it matters for things like pharmaceuticals and, 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 and you know, uh, radioactive materials and so forth and so on. So they have finally changed the definition of the kilogram and that, that hunk of metal in Paris, you can probably buy it on the used kilogram market because they're going to get rid of it and replace it with a count of photons, something like 10 to the 40 photons produced by the cesium atom and that will define what a kilogram is and what they've cleverly done is to replace something you weigh or measure with something you count. You just count photons. You want to hear more about this? Tune into Big Picture Science this week, bigpicturescience.org. Thanks.